Okay, to those of you out there that understand the concept of adult to kids, where you got kids, makes it even easier to understand. Are you gonna, let's say you got a five-year-old son. Could be a daughter too, maybe she likes to, maybe she likes the outdoors too. Are you gonna take that five-year-old and set them right up with a, you know, $1,500 rig if you're trying to teach them how to shoot a bow? No, you're not. You'd start them off with something a little more simple. Would you start them out by shooting an arrow with a razor blade on the end of it? Hmm. No. You'd start them off with something not so lethal. Even though, I mean, these could be lethal, but something that they could actually use, that they could learn some responsibility and what happens when you're shooting a bow. Now, if you got a five-year-old that can pull back a 70-pound bow, you got something special. However, bow safety or how to teach a child how to shoot a bow is not the point of this video. The point being is that God, the Father, in the same kind of way, with a son, he's not going to turn out that person loose with the full power of himself. There's responsibility that's got to be taught. There's trust that has to be established. Just think about it if your five-year-old was just, boom, automatically equipped with everything. Little Jimmy took his Hot Wheels car, his toy, whatever, and then the child's going to be chasing him down, shooting fireballs out of his mouth or shooting laser beams out of his eyes because the guy stole his car. Might be a little irresponsible at that time for somebody who's not mature enough. I'm not saying that's a power or gift of God that he has for mankind, but just in the just in the whole honesty of not putting limits on God, what is there that can't be done? In a similar kind of way, the law is like that training ground or that proving ground of trust between father and child. And the law can never be those things those things that are God. But in the law are simple things that can be learned and understood. But that law can never be that fullness of God. God says these people are just not ready or able to accept what I really want them to have. So I got to give them something to try to get their attention. So he gives, he gave the law. But people stay hung up on it and stuck. They stay stuck shooting that little bitty bow with practice tips on it. But they get stuck that way for too long and they really think they're shooting the real thing. Someone that's not ready for power, you put it in their hand and instantly they mess it up. With kids, they get some power in their hand, they become a bully. They're trying to topple everyone else. They're trying to be the goat on top of the hay bale, not letting any other goats get up there type of mentality. And this is not what power and God is all about. It very well can be and is phenomenal cosmic power, but this power is not to rule over and be higher up than everybody else. In a better way of looking at it, it makes you more capable of defending somebody else protecting someone else. It's not so you can be the king. Hard for many to accept or even wrap their mind around, but everyone in that kingdom is as the king. But the mentality of the world is rise up, reign, rule, enslave, crush, destroy. That's what the world does. There are so many things in God that people automatically believe and accept as no. And all God is really saying is, Look, it's no because you are not able to accept and receive this level, this thing, whatever that is. Like I said earlier, God's not going to just turn you loose when you're five years old with the full power, the full equipped bow, so to speak. Now, if you are a super exceptional child in the eyes of God, I guess he could. No restriction on that. If you want to stay stuck in a very limited life, that's your choice. You can do whatever you want to do. If all that you have now is all that you're ever going to get, 
that's your choice. But as for me, I just can't accept what this world has to offer because I know that's not all there is to it. Well, that's all I have to say about that for now. Thanks for watching.